Hi there, so in this video we're gonna take a look at Astro and you might be thinking, you know, like Svelte Kit just came out and now I have to look at Astro and blah blah blah. Well, so Astro is a bit different in that it's more for static sites. So if it's just gonna be some kind of blog with text or, um, well, let's look at the documentation they kind of tell you. Uh, here, so they have a Svelte Kit so basically, yeah, if you're gonna make something more like a, uh, what do they say, like a dynamic website, like dashboards and inboxes, if you have a backend, all of that, you'll probably want SvelteKit. And Astro is more for highly static websites. So they have like e-commerce uh, or like a blog or your portfolio, something like that. Personally, I'm gonna probably stick with SvelteKit for everything, but I just wanted to look at Astro because uh, you can use Svelte with it, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's get started. So basically Astro, to do that you do npm init Astro. And then we can choose one of these, documentation, blog, let's try blog. Okay, so npm install. So basically you'll have like Astro components, dot Astro. Um, and they look pretty similar to Svelte components in some ways. Um, you see here they have like these dashes for scripts and then you just put your HTML like this and then you can put a style tag as well. Uh, but let's take a look. So uh, let me open this. And then npm start is how you get it going. And that'll open something on localhost 3000. Oh, that was from before. Okay, so this is what it would look like. My blog, example blog, you can click here. So it's all static. And then if we wanna have some interactivity, we can add a Svelte component for that. But let's look at the code first. So pages, layouts. So um, I've just started using this, so I don't know all of, I don't know what layouts are for necessarily. Um, but here we got components, but this is where we are index.astro. And this is a page component. So they have page components and then they have, which are a bit different than like just Astro components. But all of the Astro components are static, so you can't have any interactivity with these. It's just like, go fetch some data, and then put that data on the screen. Okay, and here, rather than like templating, you're going to do it kind of like React, where you use like a map or filter or whatever uh, to render, or JSX, I guess, is what that's called. Yeah. Okay, so, but let's say I wanted to add that button that you saw for a second there, but isn't there anymore. We can add a uh, button.svelte, and I'm just going to, oh, oh, one other thing, you'll probably want to come here and search for Astro uh, and install that. Script, okay, so export let, let's just say color, and then we got a button and whatever style equals background, whatever the color is, and some padding. Okay, and then here it'll say, say hello, and that'll add to this message. Oops. So on click equals uh, message. Okay, so this is an interactive component, and now we, so there's a few things you have to do before you can actually get this on the page. So here we have our main page, and I want to put it here in index.svelte. So up here you can see it's pretty similar. Uh, we can import button from component slash button.svelte. Okay, so we import the button like that, and then we can come down here and put it, let's put it here after the blog header, button. And then they have color, we'll say blue. Okay, but if we come back, we'll see that uh, we get an error. So Astro is un unable to render button. Basically, we need to define in your Astro config, blah, blah, blah. So let's go to the Astro config, boo, boo, boo. And we need to basically, rather than a preact one, well, we need to add a Svelte one. So we can do that, and then npm install dev will be svelte. Okay, and then it'll be able to render the svelte. Um, I need to s start it over. 
Okay, cool. So now it says say hello, but you notice now that I click it, it's not actually, nothing's happening. Um, and that is because we need to, so Astro is all static, everything's static. So anytime you want some inter interactivity with JavaScript, then you need to like explicitly say that. So here we'll come to, where was it? Partial hydration. So hydration is basically adding JavaScript to your site or adding that interactivity so it does something. Uh, Cause otherwise it's just HTML and CSS. So here we have a few options, client load, client idle, client visible. So client load might be the most basic one, just hydrate the component on page load. So for now, all I did was just render this like as HTML, but we actually want it to uh, be functioning as this felt component. So here on the component, when we use it, we have to say client load. Uh, so now we come back here. And when I click it, it'll actually do it. And then you can also, yeah, you can play around with these client idle, hydrate the component as soon as the main thread is free. I don't know uh, when you would want to do that or when it's visible. So if it's like a big page, lots of components, maybe you don't want to hydrate it unless they actually get down to your component. Uh, and then this, <clears throat> don't sure, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, those are the steps basically to get your silk component into your Astro page. So it's just, uh, you need to install this astro.js renderer svelte, add it to astro.config, and then when you actually use it, you need to add this client load or client visible or whatever. Okay, so that's just an intro to how to use svelte in astro. So play around with it. I mean, I just started using this, so I don't know. Um, I'm going to look into it more, but like I said, I'll probably stick with svelte kit in most cases. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think, and have fun.